Hey water signs, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your general love reading. For the first half, I will do a reading for the element of water and then towards the end, I will pick out a card for each sign and clarify. So let's jump right in and see what love messages we get for you water signs. decent amount of positive energy here. Um, interesting. So we have 10 of wands at the bottom of the deck. I feel like some of you are kind of jumping over the hurdle of something difficult within your relationship. I feel like you're just getting through that block. Um, with the 10 of wands and the eight of wands and the moon at the bottom of the deck with the eight of cups, um, I can't help but feel that, you know, there is definitely something that you walked away from, but I think you walked away from a block. I think you walked away from a hurdle, something that was getting um, sort of in the way of the relationship. I feel like you just kind of stepped through that. And I think it had to do with a miscommunication. So I feel like some of you could be dealing with communication issues um, in the recent past. And I think that right now you're kind of stepping over that and really getting into a different space within your relationship. I feel like there's open communication, there's transparency. Um, I feel like things are getting resolved by just communicating. Whereas in the past, I feel like that was something that was difficult. Um, with the Eight of Cups and the Moon, I feel like you walked away from the unknown. You walked away from uncertainty. Things are not as foggy anymore within the relationship. I feel like because there is communication, things that were kind of hidden, things that were mysterious, I think are being cleared out. And so you're walking away from that confusing energy and stepping more into very clear um, expectations or just understanding of each other within the relationship. With the Ten of Wands and the Eight of Wands, I feel like a lot of you were stressed out by, you know, not having that communication in place or not having clarity or not having, you know, kind of the answers right in front of you. But I think that with a recent conversation that you had with your person, it was almost like, you know, things finally are starting to make sense and the stress is being relieved. There's a lot that you were able to get off your chest because of this communication. And so now I feel like you're really stepping into a different direction here within the relationship. Um... We have the death card, which is Scorpio showing up in your reading. Three of cups, knight of swords, everything is fine, queen of wands, and the four of wands. Um, so again, I feel like the ending here that's being represented by the death card, again, this could also be um, you know, very specific to Scorpio, but I think that this really is talking about the ending of hardship within the relationship, the ending of that feeling that things are not going to work out. Because I feel like for some of you, you had this um, you had this feeling of maybe this is going to end or maybe this is not going to work. But I think that what you found is that, you know, that miscommunication or that misunderstanding was just a moment in time. It was just kind of like a blip in the relationship. And now things are finally clear where you're not feeling like this anymore. I feel like some of, some of you might have had that fear that it wasn't going to work out because, you know, they weren't communicating or you weren't understanding each other. But I feel like that recent conversation has cleared up that energy and now you're realizing, okay, everything is fine. We just had to kind of get through that cycle. And I think that what has ended is that initial phase of miscommunication within the relationship. So that's really good. I think this is kind of like the reassurance that you might be looking for and, and kind of thinking, okay, there is hope for my relationship. It's not going to end just like that. With the Queen of Wands and the Four of Wands, I feel like a lot of you uh, might be getting proposed to or there's definitely some sort of energy here of you stepping into a different phase within the relationship. So some of you could be getting married. Um, you could be having a child with this person. So to me, this is saying that the next level is here. The next step is here. Someone is really uh, making a commitment to you. They're investing in the relationship. And I feel like a lot of you could be stepping into this energy of nurturing, uh, being a mother or being, you know, very... Um, celebrated you know within the relationship i feel like someone here really wants to see you succeed as well and so they might be pushing you forward in your projects and your goals and to me this is a very welcoming energy as well so you know maybe this is somebody that has you know welcomed you into their family and maybe they're introducing you to their family members or you know there's there's a really big um aspect of family here where it seems like your family is getting close to their family or you know there's just like a very cohesive energy with these two cards with the Knight of Swords and the Three of Cups, I feel like you're really moving forward. 
um, in a direction of being more social as well. And, and I think that this is kind of coming from feeling of that, um, I feel like there's a sense of security here within your relationship and it's allowing you to really communicate effortlessly with other people. So it's almost like this block that you had in communication within your relationship has allowed you to now be more open in other areas of your life as well. So I really think that this is you kind of speaking more um, more clearly on what you feel. And it's like your emotions are just pouring out in a way that that isn't, um, you know, it's not restricted. And I also feel like you could be getting closer to your, your family and friends. Um, again, this is opening the door for conversation in multiple areas of your life. So I really think that there was a block that stemmed from your relationship. And now that it's cleared up, it's like you're able to now fully flow in other areas. Because um, believe it or not, relationships are you know very, very important to our overall communication with others. When we have issues in our relationships with uh, communication, it tends to stem into other places. So I do feel like that's really kind of clearing up for you. Um, so let's see what specifically we can get for um, the sign of cancer, okay? So we're gonna start with cancer and I am going to put timestamps um, so that if this does not relate to you, you don't have to see it. Um, so let's start with cancer. Cards are going crazy. All right, let's see. All right, so wow. <laughs> cancer, we got the empress and we have the chariot at the bottom of the deck. So this is kind of you saying, I am the Empress, I am in my power, I am in my zone. Um, so with the Empress, I feel like Cancer right now, you're very attractive. I feel like you've done a lot to kind of um, elevate yourself and I feel like this is really saying you've taken care of yourself. You could be really focusing on your, you know, um, your physical health. Maybe you're going to the gym, maybe you're, you know, putting on, um, you know, different clothing or you're, you're, you know, messing around with makeup. It's like you're, you're getting dolled up. You're very attractive at this moment. And I think that people are starting to notice that they're starting to notice, um, you know, just how, how like beautiful and, and how much you're glowing. There's a certain confidence about you that I feel like you're attracting other people a lot um, faster these days. And so I think that you're finding yourself kind of feeling like, okay, um, I have places to go and people to see. And I also feel like for some of you, if you're not currently in a relationship, you're just very much excited to date and really just get to know other people. But I do feel like you're you're on a very fast track here. Um, I think that you're gonna attract someone very quickly if they haven't come in already because the way that you're carrying yourself and the way that you're moving, it's almost like it's you're bound to encounter some sort of situation and it could take off very quickly. So let's see what else we get for cancer. So we have Page of Swords at the bottom of the deck, as well as King of Cups and the Lovers. So to me, this is really saying you might be attracting another water sign, uh, maybe another Cancer, a Scorpio, a Pisces. I feel like the Lovers is saying that there's going to be major union in this um, next coming weeks where it's like you find yourself attracting somebody and then it's like immediately you guys are together. So again, that's that fast energy that I was picking up on. Someone here is going to want to commit to you very quickly. It's like they see you and they auto automatically know that they want to be with you. So I think that someone is going to making an offer for a relationship to you very soon, Cancer. So be on the lookout for that. I really think this is somebody that is very in tune with their emotions, um, very much like just very romantic you know this is a very sweet person and i feel like you pick up on that as well and so that's why the energy is almost effortless it's like you both have that water sign chemistry about you so maybe they don't have a water sun but they have other water placements and so there's just like this very natural um, attraction to each other that is going to happen and will lead to a very quick um, union all right so let's go to pisces This is going to be for Pisces. All right, so Pisces, we have Six of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. We also have the Four of Pen sorry, Four of Swords and King of Pentacles. 
So I feel like some of you are kind of resting and recovering from a past relationship here, or you're really just focusing on your your health, your stability, your your um, education, that word came out. Uh, but you're also focusing on your financial stability. I feel like someone here is going to take you by surprise. Um, I also feel like you could be receiving help from somebody um, and that might lead to you know a relationship because with the Six of Pentacles, this is like equal give and take. So it's also the energy of like assisting and helping and kind of, you know, um, giving energy to one another. Um, I really feel like, you know, you're taking time though for yourself. I feel like you're really recovering from something or you're just, you're taking a break from dating. Um, you know, for some of you, you're more focused on your, your mental health. You're more, fo more focused on your physical health. Uh, you're more focused on just being with yourself. It's almost like your personal relationship with you is more important right now. Whether you are with somebody or not, it's almost like your focus right now is your stability. Because maybe in the past you were feeling a little bit kind of unstable or you were feeling like things were not in your control. And so right now you're just focused on regaining that, regaining that um, strength within yourself to just kind of be okay no matter what. So I feel like some of you are really just kind of meditating, resting, recovering, healing healing from the past and just focusing on your own finances and stability. Um, let's see what else we get for Pisces. All right, so we also have the King of Wands and the Two of Cups with the Eight of Pentacles. Again, I am getting this energy of, you know, you're working hard on yourself, you're focused on your goals, you're focused on you just, you know, doing your best at whatever it is that you're putting your energy into. And then I feel like suddenly someone is going to come along and kind of offer you a relationship. So it's almost like when you least expect it, when you're just focusing on yourself, someone here will come with this passion and this desire to kind of take you away from that and, and romance you. So you could be focusing on yourself right now, Pisces, but I do feel like while you're doing that work, someone's going to come in and try to sweep you off your feet. Someone's going to come in and say, hey, take a break from that. You're working too hard. Let's go on a date or let me take you out for some food or some coffee. So you could be finding that when you least expect it, when you're just focusing on you, someone here comes along and tries to kind of, um, you know, get you smitten. All right. Let's do Scorpio. Let's see, what do we have for Scorpio? All right, we have the Hierophant at the bottom of the deck. Some of you could be dealing with a Taurus or um, an Earth sign or just somebody that's really definitely trying to have a long-term commitment with you, someone that wants to maybe propose to you, marry you. We also have the Knight of Cups with the Wheel of Fortune. I feel like there's a lot of things happening in your life right now, Scorpio. A lot of big changes are occurring, um, but at the same time, there's also this um, kind of sweet element of like love. I feel like you're in a relationship with somebody here that wants to take it to the next level. It's almost like they're they're wanting to be with you on this journey. So while you're going through these changes, while you're going through these really massive life events, this person is right here hoping that you don't lose them or hoping that you don't lose focus of them or that the relationship doesn't become secondary. I feel like someone here wants to lock you in, okay? We also have the moon at the bottom of the deck, so more, more Pisces energy. You could be a Pisces moon for some of you, but I feel like this is saying that someone wants to lock you in. Someone wants to keep you um, kind of in their corner because they're, they're, they're seeing all these changes that you're going through. And for some of you, these are really big, like you're getting big offers, big opportunities, chances to move up in life and, and really like explore different aspects of, you know, the world maybe. Um, you're just you're kind of elevating very quickly here and so that scares them because they don't want you to kind of lose focus of love because of your success or because of these changes that are happening so I feel like they're going to try to lock you in um, they're not doing it in a bad way it's just kind of like they're very much interested in keeping you they're interested in keeping your love and in making sure that you're still invested in them as well because they are very much invested in you Scorpio they want a long-term commitment they want marriage they want the whole nine so that's what I'm getting for you um, I did want to keep these brief, um, and if you would like an extended version or if you want a bonus reading, let me know. I would love to do that for you. And as always, if this reading resonated and you liked it, please give it a like, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.